Lift our hearts, lift our strings, let's revere our school of fame, ever true, loyal to, for our colors, white and blue. Dear Princeton High School, our love, our pride, we've always held you. in West Virginia, where tonight the Tiger Den to take on the number one rated Williamson Wolfpack, number one rated in the state of West Virginia, on a 20 game win streak, which will come to an end tonight after the Tigers get out of here. The ball game brought to you tonight on Big Way Radio by the Mercer County Bank, Preston Ready Mix, Preston Armature, Mercer General Insurance Agency, Pepsico, the Bodley Company, and Jed's Discount. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> I'm a senior, and I just want to say thanks for all the support that you have given us for these three years. Hello, Mr. Stefan, I'm a senior for on the Christmas and I would like to thank you for supporting my team this year. Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Jeff Adams, the senior backup center for the Princeton Tigers. I really appreciate all of your support, and I hope we can bring back the state championship trophy to you. Good evening, folks. My name is Jeff St. Clair. I'm a 5 senior, number 12, and I play point guard for this year's Tiger squad. I'm really looking forward to this year's tournament action, and I hope to see a lot of fans support this year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mike D. I'm a senior and play guard on this year's Princeton basketball team. I'd like to first thank everyone for tuning in this year, and especially and a special thanks to Glenn Bobbinshaw for taking the time out to do these games. For being support, we hope we can win the state championship this year. Thank you. We'll be right back. First and foremost, we're commercial lesson. House. There's a lot of noise. Uh, band over in the uh, lower right-hand corner. An awful lot of noise. I'd say that the, the uh, Williamson crowd is uh, very vocal, very uh, together in certain respects. We hope it doesn't affect Princeton. They come out, they play their game. We get a good game out of five uh, starters and anybody that comes off the bench. And we stay with this team and wind up, as you said, when you start the ball camp on top of the score in a few minutes. Charlie? Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Uh, this should be a very exciting uh, rematch here tonight. Probably see a lot of uh, scoring. Uh, these uh, Wimson fans are getting very emotional here right before the game, and uh, probably a pair play a lot of big part in this ball game. Right, we'll be back with basketball. First, let's ball for this commercial message. Well, what do you expect to see, and what kind of averages you got on the Tigers? This is the final uh, game of the regular season for the Tigers. We go to Tomball action a week from tonight. Well, actually, I expect to see a repeat of uh, the game last month. I don't uh, look for a whole lot of changes. I don't think we're going to see anybody really slowing the ball down. I know that uh, Jimmy Miller has a little bit of a flow. It's may slow down a little, but I don't really think so. When the middle starts slowing, I don't think that'll be a problem. On the season, uh, Jimmy Miller is averaging 23.5 points per game. Mike E, 14.5. James Whitmer, 13.5. Those are the double-figure scores for the Princeton Tigers. 
They have a lot of support from Jeff St. Clair, 7.7 7 points a game. Stephon Strain, 5.9 points, almost 6 points a game from Stephon. David Phillips, almost 3.5 points per game. Jeff St. Clair, 5.8 points per game. Stephon Strain, 5.8 points per game. David Phillips, almost 3.5 points per game. Stephon Strain, David Phillips, almost 3.5 points per game. The team as a whole is averaging 70 points a game, giving up 57. So on the season, we're 13 points better than our opponents. Fire uh, shot, free throw shooting, has dropped off, has dropped off really lately. This is averaging 69% from the foul line. The top free throw shooters for Princeton are Miller, 77 and a half, E, 72, the Whip, 69, St. Clair, 72, and, uh, our foul shooting lately has not been especially uh, uh, formidable. We have not been hitting our free throws the last couple of games. Of course, the Independence game, they didn't really need to. You're going to need to tonight. Uh, you want me to go ahead with the starting lineup for the Williams Wolfpack? You can go ahead, yeah. For the Williams Wolfpack starting at center, the senior, 6 foot 7, Kenny Ford. At the forward, the man who hurt Princeton with 20 points at Princeton, Bobby Fletcher, 6'5", senior. At the guard, 6 foot senior, Curtis Taylor. And the other guard is Julian Hatch. He's also a senior. So we have four seniors in that starting lineup for the Wolfpack. The other starter is Mark Klein, the 6'7 and a half, Kent Stockport, who will see a, 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 who will start this game. And it's one of the most impressive sophomores I've seen in a long time. The other player who got into the game uh, at Princeton was Scott Maynard, a 5'11 senior guard. The thing that uh, impressed me about Williams is the starting lineup for four seniors and a sophomore, but the thing that impresses me is there are, appears to be no weakness. The guards are quick, they handle the ball well, they're able to run the press to play the ball game. The front four, the front three men up front, there's a sign down here that says triple power, power, climb, pressure, and court. And I think that's a very good uh, uh, message. One thing Princeton has to do is go to the board, offensively and defensively, and they have to rebound well tonight. Okay, Tony, do you have any comments on the starting run up for Princeton? Okay, for Princeton tonight starting, they will have four seniors starting. Jeff St. Clair is one of the seniors. He is 5'8", 145 pounds. He started ten. As point guard. At the other guard will be a senior, Mike Earl Eve. He's six foot, one hundred sixty pounds. And at the uh, forward will be Stephon Strain. He is a senior. He's six foot three, one hundred sixty five pounds. And Jimmy Miller will be starting at center. He is six eight, one hundred ninety pounds. And the only junior in starting tonight will be James DeWitt. He is six foot three, one hundred sixty five pounds. And some of the reserves tonight will be. Jojo Harrison, Russell Harris, Jeff Adams, David Phillips, and Daryl Will. And, okay, uh, speaking of Daryl Will, Scooter told me a joke downstairs while ago. Oh, no, not another uh, one. <laughs> he said that he was over at the Kroger parking lot the other day, either Saturday or Sunday, I forget which day it was. He said this fella drove up and he had a little baby laying on the front of the back seat of the car. He ran in real fast and grabbed a six or an eight pack of beer and come back out and the back seat on top of that baby. I said, Scooter, what happened? Did it hurt the baby? Scooter said, oh, no, it was right there. <laughs> we'll be back with basketball. First, this pause for this commercial message. Hey, Princeton fans. My name is Jim Nash. I'm center for the Princeton Tigers this year. I'm a senior, and I just want to say thanks for all the support that you have given us for these three years. Thank you for supporting our team this year. Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Jeff Adams, the senior backup center for the Princeton Tigers. I really appreciate all of your support, and I hope we can bring back the state championship purposes. Good evening, folks. My name is Jeff St. Clair. I'm a 5'8 senior. My number is 12, and I play point guard for this year's Tiger squad. I'm really looking forward to this year's tournament action, and I hope to see a lot of fans support this year's practice. Hello, my name is Mike E. I'm a senior play guard on this year's Princeton basketball team. I'd like to personally thank everyone for tuning in this year, and especially in the fifth place to Glenn Barbasar. He's taking the time out to do these games. For your support, we hope we can win the state championship this year. Thank you. We'll be right back. First and foremost, we have commercial lessons. Hello, 
Oh, we got, they're going to start this thing now. We're standing up here. They're late getting the teams on the floor. It looks like we're about 12 minutes away from basketball. In the meantime, Bob has got our sports microphone traveling down into the crowd with it. And he's going to find somebody to talk to. <laughs> Um, we didn't travel too far down the stairs because we've got a packed house. There's this sort of, sort of behind the door standing behind the chair that runs the talking station in Princeton. And uh, Sam, would you like to say hello to some of the people back in Princeton? Yeah, I'd like to say hello to all the Princeton fans. Wish they could be down here tonight. Uh, this is a real exciting crowd. Uh, like all the junior high kids in Mingo County here for this game tonight to try to cheer Williams and all. Well, Sam, it looks like we're not going to get started until about 15 after 8. And uh, I know you said you left Princeton about 4.30. We left a little earlier and we came down to downtown Williams. We seem to have a real active downtown section and we stopped to eat at a place called the uh, Pet of the uh, Rock, 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 Rock and Barrel. And, and we had Chateau Briand and we had steak. Had a really good homemade bread. Charlie was and fine. And you know Charlie right still will not buy. <laughs> we can't right. talk him. That's not into it. I think he's going to save his money till he retires. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we need to say. Sam, what, what do you expect? Now, we've got something here besides uh, the talking about dinner and this sort of thing. What do you expect Princeton to have to do tonight? What kind of game do you expect to see tonight? I'd like to see James DeWitt get real hot tonight. Uh, it's no always seems to pep up the Tigers some. They look like they're ready to play ball tonight. We sure hope so. And in that, um, there was a JV game played tonight. Princeton spoiled most of the game. They were down 17 points at halftime. They were throwing in the uh, third and fourth quarter by as much as 22, 23 points. And they came back, cut that lead down to seven at one point. And finally wound up losing to a real good Williamson JV team, 76-67. And the JVs appear to be coming along in the latter part of the season. The last game at Princeton, they look better than they have all year. Uh, I think they've improved each game. Sam, do you, how do you um, foresee the, the outcome of this game is being? How's it going to go? I think it'll be uh, a close game all the way, uh, about like what we had in Princeton. And uh, maybe whoever gets that last bucket might win this one. Well, we, hope, we hope so. This, always, this is a very tough place to play basketball, and uh, we hope Princeton can stay in it, that's for sure. Thank you very much, Sam Barker. We appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope Tiger's good luck tonight. You better say hello to Nelson to see because we, we kind of figure he's listening someplace. Yeah, I think Nelson kind of pulled a stick out on me tonight, but he'll be listening, I'm sure. Sam, you've been here for a few minutes. There's a pretty good contingency of Princeton folks down here, aren't there? He's a good crowd from Princeton. Uh, I noticed my brother just come in and uh, look like all the people that rode that bus just got here. Hey, thanks very much, Sam Barker. Right, we'll be back in Williamson, West Virginia first. Let's call for this commercial message. If they are, I don't see how you can pick them out because there's an awful lot of people standing up. They're introducing the parents of the team here tonight or something, and they keep introducing all these people, and we keep looking for somebody, and we can't see anybody standing up or doing anything different. Maybe somebody's done a poke over there, but I can't even see anybody pokoing. <laughs> Now, we're, now, now, and Mr. and Mrs. James Maynard, we got <laughs> Susan and Brenda Miller standing up. Well, Glenn, I think what's happening, right underneath us on the ground floor, there is a special box that's marked off uh, reserve seating. And I think that the parents are sitting in there so that they're directly below us and there's no way that we can see them. Well, how come they don't put them out in the middle of the floor where we can all see them? Of course, now, you know, uh, as Charlie says, sometimes some of your relatives, you just have to take with you because it's so bad to kiss them goodbye when you leave. Maybe they're ashamed <laughs> to let her see these people. You reckon? <laughs> well, that's possible, but I think it's primarily that we're just sitting in a, the uh, one obscure area of this, well, there's not a lot of us in this one obscure area because it's the whole side of the balcony. 
I think they're just beating in time. That's all I think they're doing, letting the Tigers cool off in the dressing room. They're doing a good well, job. Well, no, this game just started about uh, 16 minutes ago. So meanwhile, we're waiting on the Tigers to fill in the dressing room. The Wolfpack's on the floor. They're sitting down on the bench. I guess they're introducing them with their with the parents or with their parents, each individual parent. Now they're coming out. Now they're putting somebody out on the floor. Oh, boy. Well, they're putting them out on the floor, and we got time. This ball, 30 seconds for this message. As they're introducing each of the... Are these the senior Wolfpack members or just the old starters or what? I believe they're going to introduce Brad Ball of them. We could be here until sometime tomorrow morning. Then there's something I want to mention. I ran into uh, Jack Puckett today. Jack played a film junior college and went on the West Virginia Tech. But Jack was uh, sort of reminiscing about some of the uh, games and some of the, uh, in the past that have gone on between Princeton and Williams. And of course, Princeton has not played Williams in every year. But there have been some real busy of games down through the years between um, Williamson and Princeton. He was telling me that there was a uh, sort of a reunion in Princeton when uh, Princeton and Williamson played uh, last time between some of the members of the 68 Princeton team and some of the members of the 68 Williamson Wolfpack team. So I kind of want to say hello to Jack Puckett back in Princeton, and I'm sure it's listening to this ball game. Okay, hope John keep that wild left arm and hand wound up. He's he playing church league tomorrow. I'm not sure. I understand that Mike Elmore is trying to recruit him for his team. However, I'm, I'm not sure that he had any luck. But now Jack may be like Scooter's cat. About to run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jack looks pretty trim to me. Well, yeah, to you, anything looks trim. Now, wait a minute. And they put another 10 minutes on our clock. Oh, geez. That's right, eight minutes. That's the start of the quarter. Oh, okay. I thought, thought the clock was running. We're waiting on the Tigers to come on the uh, floor. And so while we've got the opportunities, we're trying to get our commercial breaks in so we don't have to worry about them later. So while we've got time, this for 30 seconds for this. And then what we've got is they're introducing the entire squad of both teams. And the first time and the delay continues. I don't want to run away with this point, but that JV game is over at 715. And uh, there is absolutely no reason for this ball game to be started. Now, they're introducing the entire well, a while ago I said it was the highest of his courtesy. I think now it's getting to the point of ignorance. <laughs> if a game is supposed to play an the JV game is going to overtime, there certainly should be some effort made to get the show on the road within a reasonable way. Well, they intentionally delay it. Just to upset the business. As they just introduced Jim Miller, the All-American from... West Virginia, from the high school all American from the state of West Virginia. Then we were reading the papers, the Rock, Rock, and Merrill, and one of the things that said was that uh, the Williamson paper gave the Mr. Medic to be there. The Mr. Williamson Wolfpack now, but while we still got time, let's call 30 seconds for this promotion. As they introduce the Williamson Wolfpack, the Tigers already been introduced and down to our right on the bench. We're up high looking at the court. Tigers will be going from right to left as we face the court right now. And of course, the Wolfpack will be going left to right. As the scoreboard suspended in the center of the arena, we will have trouble reading the numbers on it. We can read the score. We have trouble reading the time, especially the second set. As they have a light hanging right between us and the digits that gives us the second. But I guess that's something we can live with. We can live with everything else down here. Well, I'm sure we've got a lot of people listening back in Princeton, but there are an awful lot of Princeton people in this, uh, what, what did you say, 130 miles from home? There's a lot of people across uh, old Route 52. There's a lot of people from Princeton who made this trip. I think that's a tribute to the support of this one for the Princeton basketball. We did have a good dinner tonight, though, didn't we? 
It was absolutely delicious. Wonder if Jerry missed that. I wonder what dream I had to eat tonight. Probably a hamburger. If you was lucky, you had a hamburger, huh? It could work, man. Yeah. There it is in the starting line of the Wolfpack right now. Starting for the Wolfpack will be Towns, Hatcher, Fort, Fletcher, and Klein. And of course, the Tigers will be going with the standard five. And we'll be going... And at halftime, it was 30 34. Williamson. Then in the fourth quarter, Williams had a good fourth quarter, 54 46 at the end of the fourth quarter. And of course, the final score was 63 60. Leading score for Williamson at that, that first game was Bobby Hatcher. And we noticed in the paper that Bobby Hatcher is the third leading score for them. Kenny Schwartz is the top score for them, and uh, Mark Klein is the second leading score for them. Uh, Schwartz was held to 12 points, and Klein had 16 in the Princeton ball game. The other double figure score for Williamson was Julius Hatcher. For Princeton, there were only two score three double figure scores. Jimmy Miller, 25, James DeWitt, 10, and Mike Eads, 12. And that final score back um, on the 18th of February was 66-63 in a real good ball game. The South Princeton dropped, out, dropped way behind in the third quarter and come back. And within the last 10 seconds, had an opportunity to tie it up. 3925 people here tonight, huh? Uh -huh. 3925, you're right, Charlie. We're ready for basketball. <laughs> Relax, excuse me. We'll have Fletcher in to jump against Miller, and the tip control with the Tigers as Miller tips it to the west. Wait for traffic, the Tigers gives it to St. Clair. Jeff will tip it to the offense. To the point position, the left side to ease. He's on the wing. They go around the horn to the wit on the far side. Drops it to Miller, low post, stay fine. It double team him, he gives it back outside to the wit. DeWitt will fire from 18 feet down. James DeWitt from 18 feet puts the Tigers in front, two nothing. As Williamson into the front court with it, on the far side is fine, firing, it's off the iron, no good, rebound, pulled down by Klein as he goes to the baseline on the left hand, Dribble picks it up, gives it back outside to Towns. Towns to Klein, drives the baseline, Miller heads him off, he gives it back outside to Towns again. Towns drops it to Swartz, they bring it back to Towns, he's firing off the glass side. Christmas in a 2-3 zone. 2-2. Ty Sawyer is easy against the court press. Gives it up to the front court to James DeWitt. Brings it across the lane. Picks it up. Fires out of the lane. Good. James DeWitt puts the Tigers back on top. 4-2. As the Tigers working into a man-to-man -man right now. Now they drop it to a zone. As Towns out front with it. Decline. Drives to the bay. Finds Stephon. Picks him up. Drops it underneath the Fletcher. Fire. He gives it outside the Hatcher. They go underneath. his knock loose on the floor. Picked up and put up again by Kelly Swartz. Swartz gets the bucket for Williamson. Four to four with 6.40 to play in the first quarter. And Stephon in the front court with the ball. Gives it to Mike Eads. Mike on the dribble with it. Gives it to St. Clair. Jeff to the on the horn to the wet. He's on the wing. Right side. Back to Eads. Top the key. They go low to Stephon. Foul away. Shot on the eye. No good. Rebound. Pulled off by Williamson. Fletcher gets it out to Hatcher. Hatcher into the front court where they go to the lane. Pump fake, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Stephon. Swing, clears it out. Gives it to St. Clair. Jeff will work it to the front court. To the wet. He's on the wing, right side, working underneath, looking outside. Gives it back to St. Clair. Goes to the lane. They go to Stephon Lopos. Gives it to Eve. Works the baseline. Fake. They hit him off. Gives it outside to St. Clair. Jeff across the top of the key to the right side of the wet. Firing from 20. It's on the iron. No good. Miller rebounds. Puts it on the glass. Got it. Six to four, Tigers lead by two. As Hatcher into the front court with a four Williamson down the left side on the right hand dribble. Gives it to Klein on the point position, top of the key to the left side to Hatcher. They go down low with it to Fletcher. Turn around, we got a whistle and a foul. And let's see who they've got it on. It is on James DeWitt. That's number one on James, team foul number one on the Tigers. And it'll be out of bounds on the baseline to Williamson. On the, they stack it on the left side of the lane. Inbound pass comes into Klein. Klein firing out of the corner. It's off the iron. 
Rebound put back up by Schwartz, no good. Rebound comes off the iron, picked up by Klein, fades away, puts it up and good. Mark Klein on the third try, got it for the Wolfpack. Six to six. As Miller in the front four takes the pass from Eads to break the press. Give it to St. Clair. Jeff on the point position to the whip, down low to Miller, even lower, turn around, stand, fire, the shot is caught, but he is fouled by Fletcher. That's number one on Fletcher, team foul number one on Williamson, that'll put Miller on the free throw line to shoot two. As they had a double team, Fletcher on one side, Schwartz on the other, on Miller as they turn, Fletcher got a hand on the ball, but he also got a hand on Jim. As Miller will be on the line, he'll shoot two. He's got the first one on the way. It's no good. He pulled it short. Didn't get the arch on it. We got a 6 6 ball game. What time, Bob? 5 16. 5 by 12. 5 12 to play in the first quarter. Miller fires the second one. It's off the front line, too. Step on, tips it out. Fine, picks it up. Gets it over to Town. Town's into the front court to Hatcher. As Hatcher gives it back to Town, now they go into the lane to Klein. Drops it down low to Forrest. Gives it back out. They come around the horn to Towns. He's fine. Good. Towns off the glass. Gives Williamson the lead. 8-6. to six. With 4.50 to go in the first quarter. As East gives it to St. Clair. They go to the front court with Sewell to, to Witt. Flying out of the far side. Off the iron. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Williamson. Pulling it off with Forrest. He gets it outside the town. To Hatcher. Hatcher. Terrible. Carry the ball, Fabricol. It'll be out to the Tigers in the backcourt, on the side. St. Clair in the backcourt, gets it to the red. He's in the front court with it on the move. Down the left side, holds it up, gives it back outside to St. Clair. Jeff goes to the point position. Looks underneath, now gives it to the red. The red goes to the corner, gives the E flying off the high post. It's good, he's fouled. He's was fouled by Julius Hatcher. It'll be number one on Hatcher, team foul number two on the Wolfpack, and Eagle goes the line to shoot one. And if the goal was good. High ball game, 8 to 8 with 420. To go in the first quarter, we'll have Mike Eads on the line to shoot one throw. He fires, it's good. 9 to 8, Tigers lead by one. As Hatcher inbounds it to Towns, the Tigers setting up in a press. As the long court pass into the front court to Fletcher, gives it to Klein, goes down the lane, fires, it's no good. Miller rebounds for the Tigers, out to the wet. The wet into the front court with it. On the left side, turns back to the way in, he is fouled by Towns. And on Towns, that's number one, team foul number three on the Wolfpack. It'll be out to the Tigers on side court, right down under our broadcast position. 9-8, Tigers leading by one. As St. Clair takes the inbound pass, goes to the point position. To the left side of the wet. He's on the wing. The Eads, high post. Eads. He'll fire from 16. It's on the iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by Schwartz of Williamson. Schwartz gives it to Hatcher. Hatcher will take it to the front court. Gives it to Town. Town from the right side. Goes to the top of the key. They go back to Schwartz. To Klein on the low post. Back to Klein. Firing out of the corner now. It's off the iron. No good. Rebound to Miller. As Kim controls. Gets it out to James DeWitt. The wet into the front court with it on the right side to Stephon down low. Stephon goes outside with it to E. D. On the side of the key, dribbling back to the way out of trouble. Gives it to Jeff St. Clair, top of the key, firing from 20 feet. It's good. Jeff St. Clair puts the Tigers up by three, 11 to 8. As Towns, as Towns will bring it to the front court for Williamson. On the right side, he goes to the front court with it to Fletcher. Fletcher drives, fires, got it. Bobby Fletcher from eight feet. 11 to 10, the Tigers lead by one as St. Clair against the press, gets it to E, beats into the front court with it, takes it to the baseline, left side, turns, brings it away out of traffic, out to St. Clair, top of the key, Jeff takes the shot, gives it back to E. E's over overhead, they get the wit coming across, fires over top of Klein, it's off the iron, no good, Miller rebounds in the lane, fires, it's off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Fletcher. Fletcher leaves it for Hatcher. Hatcher will take it to the front court for the Wolfpack with 2.48 to play in the first quarter. Fine with the ball. Gives it to the right side of town. They go around the horn to Hatcher. Back to town. Firing from 18 feet off the glass, off the iron. No good ball. Sits around, picks up a Hatcher in the lane. Forward. St. Clair comes out with it. Jeff into the front court. Leaves it for E. Goes down. Puts the shot up. No good. E's a call. No call. Fine. Comes out with it for Williamson. Gives it up to Fletcher. Runs over top of Miller. It should be a charge. It is a charge. 
two on Fletcher, team foul number four on the Wolfpack. One more team foul, and they go into the one and one. Princeton has committed so far only one team foul, and let me knock on that to Bobby Woods. As Mike Eads with the ball in the backcourt for the Tigers against the Wolfpack press. Works his way on the reverse dribble into the front court. Starts it down the right side. Gives it back outside to the top of the key to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff takes the shot from the top of the key. Klein runs over him. Jeff gives the ball over to Eads. Eads will fire from 18 feet. It's good. 13 to 10. Tigers lead by three with two minutes to play in the first quarter. As Towns takes it to the left side for Williamson. Cross court with it to Klein. Klein holds it overhead. They go inside. Two fourth fires. No good. Rebound picked out. Picked up by Edgar. Goes underneath with it to Fletcher. Fires good. He is foul. Got the bucket. And number one on who fouled it? Stephon. Stephon on the foul. Number one on Stephon. Team foul number two on the Tigers. And Fletcher will get one free throw. 13 to 12. Fletcher could tie it with his free throw. We got a minute, what, 40? Minute 47. Minute 47 to play in the first quarter. And Fletcher on the line for one shot that could tie it for the Wolfpack. Fletcher, dribbling, he'll fire with the right hand. Fletcher fires, it is no good, off the flange, the ball tipped loose, picked up by Fletcher, drops it underneath, the Swartz fires, he is fouled, but no, Trevor, there we go, Trevor's ball on Kenny Swartz in the lane. Tigers will have it out at uh, the back court, they'll take it on the baseline. As Jeff St. Clair, inbounds it to Mike Eads, as Mike in the back court with it, dribbling, gets it up in the front court to James DeWitt on the right side, James. Goes to the baseline, fake, gives the Miller, goes into the lane, fires, got it. Jim Miller puts the Tigers up 15 to 12. With a minute 20-something to go in the first quarter. As into the front court for the Wolfpack is Fletcher. Fletcher gives it to Hatcher, gives it to Klein. Top of the key to the right side to Towns, back to Klein. He'll fire from 20 feet, it's good. Mark Klein, six, seven and a half, point position to bucket from 20 feet. 15 to 14, Tigers lead by one. As he double teamed in the backcourt, gets it short step on, step on, foul. Foul's on Klein, I believe. And it is on. They gave it on Town. Foul is on Town, that's number two on Town. Team foul number five on the Wolf Pack. The Tigers are in the bunch. Tigers with two team fouls right now. We got a minute and spent a couple of seconds to play in the first quarter. Mikey's on the line if you don't want one. Fires that first one up, it's good. He'll have a second one. As Michael Earl does his little imitation free throw out there to keep his wrist, wrist working good. Now the uh, official timer hitting the buzzer. They want something, something on the top. We've got uh, the Williamson players want the technical call on place, and I'm not sure why, but the Williamson players are doing an awful lot of talking. It may be that James DeWitt walked up and got some talcum on his uh, hands, but they thought he had left it at the uh, court. Now the official's coming over here, and he's getting kind of ticked off about everything. I think he's very upset with the official timekeeper, and I don't know why. We're standing up, but we can't see. We're still screened off in the crowd. we got a minute and three seconds to play in the first quarter. Tigers lead 16 to 14. Eads will have one more free throw. I believe the official scorekeeper must be trying to call the technical on James DeWitt. <laughs> what for? I think the scorekeeper thought that James went off of the court. He went over and put some talcum on his hands, and I think they thought James had left the court. He can go to the restroom if he wants to. Well, we know, we know that, but I'm not sure that... Uh... But anyway, whatever it's about, they're going to vote on it down there right now. They're, they're doing a little lobbying. We haven't figured out what's going on. And now the official comes back and points at the witch for some reason or other. The witch says, oh, this thing, the wit was fouled? No, it was definitely Mike Eads that was fouled. Now they're going to put the wit on the free throw. They're going to take the Eads off and say it wasn't his free throw. And that is a complete miscarriage of justice. We saw the foul right here in front of us. And now, well, now we've got a timeout by Williams. So a timeout on the floor. This call, 30 seconds for this. So what the problem is, Williamson is saying that Mike Eads was not fouled, and they are right. That's Mike Eads was not fouled. Stephon Strain was fouled. Yeah. However, we're going to get James to win at the foul line, unless they change it again. Makes me don't ever mind whatever they're going to do. 
But now George Pack pointed at uh, James DeWitt said he should go to the line. Well, well, I guess we'll get him on the line. I don't know. We'll tell you what's going to happen when we get there. <laughs> anyway, that foul was called on uh, Curtis Town. Let me keep my eraser handy. Hey, Doc, you know, he's right there in front of that guy hitting back off the face. I thought he's yeah. the one that was fouled. I really did. Right here, he's had the ball, and I thought it was on Clyde, Clyde right there. Well, now the ball was tipped loose. Right, and, they, and it was a pass to Stephon at number five. But Town got, oh, he got it to Stephon on the He's made the pass, didn't he? Yeah. That's right. He's made the pass to Stephon, and in Town, closing on Stephon hitting. If you're not here, you may never know exactly what's going to happen, but uh, this well, is going to be a good If you were here, you probably wouldn't know what just exactly happened. Nobody else <laughs> to. I know I had to erase a foul shot that Mike East just made. You know, James went hit the three clutch uh, foul shots in the uh, Northport game. Let's hope that he has still got his clutch shooting arm ready. James be all right. Never you fear. It will be interesting to see who does go to the foul line. They can put round four out there. We'll still make it. Charlie, you stay up here close to us. I've seen you shoot back off. And now, Bob, I'm going to all right until they start putting air in the ball. I mean, it's a heavy. He couldn't get it up there. <laughs> now, the Williamson team back on the floor, standing at the free throw line. The Tigers still huddling around Coach Ralph Ball as we're waiting to get them out on the floor. And we may not be getting out of here anytime soon. And now, James DeWitt goes out to the free throw line. He almost walked to the line. Now, now, Stephon's going to the free throw line. And this thing, Stephon's supposed to get the free throw. And Stephon, ready to fire, puts it up, puts up the air ball. No good. Williams the ball on the side. Now, you know, if Williams would call that time out to correct an error, that time out really isn't charged for them, is it? They get a free one. Into the front court with it. Fletcher with the ball. Gives it to Hatcher to town. They come around to Clyde on the high post. On the high uh, point position. And they go inside with it to town. They go to Fletcher down low. Miller blocks the shot. Miller spikes it right back at him. Fletcher breaks it up in the corner. Gives it back outside to Hatcher. Hatcher to Klein, Top of the key. They come around the horn with it to town. They go to Hatcher. Works his way down low. Works his way back out of trouble. Decline, tying the top of the key, good. 16 to 15, the Tigers trail by one. With 20 some seconds to play in the first quarter, Z's works it to the front court for the Tigers. Left hand dribble, gives it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff to DeWitt on the wing on the right side. Gives it back to St. Clair to the left side, the East firing from 18 feet. It's off the front of the iron, no good. Rebound to Klein. Uh, Williamson, Klein out on the break, dribbling with it, working the middle, pulls it out of bounds. For the dandy pass, they're just looking by where to catch it. There's eight seconds to play in the first quarter. Tigers have the ball. As Jeff St. Clair gets in the front court to Jim Miller. Jim goes across court with it to James DeWitt. DeWitt fires from the corner. Good. That's the buzzer. We'll deal the first quarter of play. The Princeton Tigers, 17. The Williamson Wolfpack, 16. We'll be back for six balls for this. Got eight minutes to play in the first half. Right now, it's Preston 17, Williamson 16, and uh, we could have a real dandy. Oh, we, we already have a real dandy. That was one of the best first quarters of basketball I've seen. Preston had eight field goals, one of four from the foul line, and Williamson had eight field goals, 0 for 1 from the foul line, and you just can't get too much closer than that, the one free throw being the difference at this point. Mark Klein, six points. Curtis Town, four points. Bobby Fletcher, four points. Kenny Schwartz, two points for Williamson. For Princeton, Jimmy Miller, two points. James Witt, six points. Mikey, four, five points. And Jeff St. Clair, two points. So at this time, the Witt and Clyde are the leading scorers. Charlie? Well, the Princeton in the first quarter, they get made eight of 15. Charlie, I can't hear you. In the first quarter, in the first quarter, Princeton made eight of 15, 53%. Williamson made uh, eight of 17, 47%. Uh, Winston out rebound Princeton 14 to 5, and Winston committed five turnovers, and Princeton did not commit a turnover in the first quarter. The rebounding's are a little surprising. I thought Princeton was doing a little better job than that rebounding. By the way, there's 3,925 people here. We're ready to go, as we'll have Fletcher to jump against Miller. Miller moves in, Fletcher moves in, the official. From then, the tip's controlled by the Tigers is Jeff Sinclair. Whips it up to 14. 
He fakes his way to the baseline, picks it up. Gives it outside to St. Clair, top of the key. They go to the middle on the high post. He's firing off the iron. No good rebound. The step on, knocked out of bounds. By Hatcher, it's given to Williamson. Towns, inbound it to Hatcher, he gave it back to Towns, Curtis Towns, to take it to the front court, gets it to Bobby Fletcher on the left side, gives it back to Towns, Towns moves it toward the right side, leaves it for Klein, he's out high, they bring it to Towns on the right side, goes toward the baseline, gives it back to Klein, top of the key with it, he'll fire from 21 feet, it's off the iron, no good, rebound to Stephon, his train picks it up, gives it to Jeff Sinclair, Jeff on the move with it, into the front court, drives, flips it behind the back pass, he Goes under fake, drops it to step on fire, no good. Rebound, thought so, we got a foul on Jim Miller. That's number one on Jim, team foul number three on the Tigers. As Jeff St. Clair with a dandy behind the back pass to Mike Eves, but it went for naught. As Hatcher into the front court with it now for Williamson. Comes to the top of the key with it. To the right side, two towns. Goes down toward the baseline, fires from 18 feet, got it. Curtis Town from 18 feet with a left hand jump shot. 18 to 17, the Tigers trail by one. As the wit into the front court with it. Firing from 20 feet, it's good. James the wit. 19 to 18, Tigers lead by one. As Hatcher into the front court with it. St. Clair runs him down from behind. He gives it to Mark Klein. Klein to Town. Back to Hatcher. They go across court to Fletcher. He'll fire from outside. It's off the flanks. No good rebound to Town. Drops it underneath. To Klein, puts it up no good, tipped up the head by Schwartz. Kenny Schwartz tipped it up the head. 20 to 19, the Tigers beating on the offensive board there. The Wolfpack got three shots. As St. Clair gets to these in the front court, he is fouled by Klein. That's number one on Klein, team foul number six on Williamson. He'll put these on the free throw line for the Tigers. He'll be shooting a one and one. We got six minutes and 20 some seconds to play in the first half. We will have Mike Eads on the free throw line for the Princeton Tigers, and he will be shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. As Mike, on the line and ready. He fires the first one. It's good. Boy, he just made it ripple. He'll have a second one. As he puts that right-hander in the bottom of the net, he'll have a second chance. 20-20, to 20, a tie ball game. As he ready, fires, good. 21-20, to 20, the Tigers lead by one. As Mike Eads picks up a loose ball, puts it to the official. The official says, thank you, son. Mike says, that's all right. Williamson on the attack. We got a foul in the backcourt by Stephon. As he fouls Julius Hatcher. That's number two on Stephon. Team foul number four on the Tigers. And it'll be out of bounds to the Williamson Wolf back. They'll play it on the side court, corner court, back court, right side. As Towns inbounds it to Hatcher. Hatcher on the move with it to the front court. Gives it to Towns. Starts it on the right side. A right hand dribble. He cuts him off. Comes, he comes back to the top of the key. Leaves it for Hatcher. Hatcher will control the offense from the point position. To the right side to Towns. He's on the wing at the corner court. They go back to the horn. Go back to Towns on the right side. Go across court with it to Fletcher. As they bring it back around the horn to Towns. All the way across court to Fletcher. And back to Hatcher. Goes into the lane. Puts it to Fletcher. Firing from 16 feet. Off the iron. No good. Rebound to St. Clair and traffic. Jeff on the far side, takes it to the front court. On the right hand dribble, works it down toward the lane. Gives it to Miller, high post. Jim, fake, fires from 16 feet, it's over the iron, no good. Ball tipped out by Miller to St. Clair. Gives it to the wick, goes to the baseline, fires off the baseline, off the flange, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Fletcher of Williamson. Gives it to Hatcher. Hatcher will move it to the front court for the Wolfpack. Goes towards the top of the key to Towns on the right side. Down, backs his way in, gives it to Mark Klein, and Klein comes out quarter court. They go down low with it to Fletcher, to uh, court. He's shooting and blocked by Stephon. Foul ball on Stephon three, and that's number three on Stephon. And so we're at team foul number five on the Tigers. And we'll look for David Phillips to come in for the Tigers, and we do get David Phillips. And we will have Kenny Schwartz on the free throw line for the Williamson Wolf back. He'll be shooting a two-shot foul. The Tigers want a timeout. So with five minutes and 16 seconds left to play in the first half, we got timeout on the floor with the score. Princeton 21, Williamson 20. We'll be back. First, let's pause for this. He better be down south with a Kentucky Wildcat tonight, hasn't he? We got some Kentucky fans here in front of us. They're asking for Kay Wood Ledford, the voice of the Wildcats. <laughs> I told him we had Bob Graham, the voice of the Princeton Parking Commission, 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I hope that none of them have ever received a ticket. <laughs> and we got Charlie Wright. Sure do. The voice of the Saturday morning church league star. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Wimps are not shooting as good tonight as they did in Princeton. Huh? Wimps are not shooting as good as they did in Princeton, I don't think. Well, let's knock on some wood on that, Charlie. We don't want to see him get hot and start running that ball down. There's the rebound off the rail right now, though. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready to get back to action. Tigers leading by one with, what is it, 5 16 to play? 5 19. 5 19. And Kenny Sports on the line for Williamson. Fires, it is no good. He'll get a second attempt. Sports says he's ready again. He'll fire with the right hand. Sports is pretty husky. Young lad. As he's ready, he fires. It's good. 21 to 20. Tie ball game. With 5.19 to play in the first half. Aziz with the ball. In the backcourt for the Tigers against the Wolf back press. St. Clair has the pass deflected. Picked up by Klein. They get it back to Hatcher in the front court. Goes down five middle block court. And Hatcher gets it. Puts it up and in again. Julius Hatcher puts the Wolf back on top. 23 to 21. Aziz will get it to the front court for the Tigers. They double team him. He gives it back to St. Clair. Goes to the right side. Jeff, they double team him. He'll fire from 14 feet. Good. Jeff St. Clair. Ball game 23 to 23. As Pine into the front court with it for Williamson. Goes across the top of the key. The Fletcher on the far side. The Schwartz down low. Turns into the lane. Fires off the plane. No good. Stop. Rips the rebound off of the plane for the Tigers. Gives it over to Mike Eves. As he's into the front court with it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff will go to the point position. To Eves on the wing, right side. Overhead with it. Brings it back around the horn to James DeWitt. Goes underneath, they drop it to Miller, low post. Miller faking. Now he fires off the glass, off the flange, over the rebound, fought for it, loose, picked up by Williamson. As Fletcher controls it. Tie ball game at 23-23. Fletcher got hit in the mouth right then, he's a little upset. As Towns into the front court with it, decline, high post. Gives it to Hatcher, drives the lane, fires, good. Julius Hatcher. Puts Williamson up by two, 25 to 23. As St. Clair beats the press on the dribble, drops it into the front court. It's intercepted by Williamson. And Hatcher made a beautiful play. And now Williamson goes away. As Town trying to get Mark Klein on the break, throws it to the crowd. It'll be pressing ball on the backcourt, on the baseline. 23 to 23 with 349 to play in the first half. As he in the backcourt, double team. Gets it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff into the front court with a behind the back dribble. Back to Eves. Eves works his way to the baseline. Fires the fall away. In and out, no good. Rebound, tipped around. Pulled down by Klein of Williamson. Klein dribbling into the front court. Gets it to Fletcher. Fine. Good. Bobby Fletcher. 27-23 as the Tigers drop off the pace by four. As the wit into the front court with a double team. Dribbles out of trouble. Give it to Jeff St. Clair. To Mike Eads on the left side. They go to Phillips down low. Fake. Fires off the baseline on the iron. No good. Miller tips. No good. Rebound. Pull down. cheerleaders standing out in the middle of the floor. The crowd will not let them do a cheer. They just keep making a lot of noise. The cheerleaders are standing there. So let's see if they, the people turn them off. As the Tiger cheerleaders are not allowed to get their cheer going, the crowd will not quiet down. They just keep uh, going. 29 to 23, the Tigers trading by six. As the buzzer sounds, we'll bring them back out. It'll be Tiger ball. They'll have it at the baseline in their backcourt. Here's Williams. 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 
Williamson running a 2-1-2 two, two zone trap. As these with the ball in the backcourt, gives it to Jeff St. Clair. They get it to the front court to Jim Miller. As Jim gives it to Jeff to uh, Mike Eads, he'll give it to Jeff St. Clair. They'll start the offense. Jeff, top the key with it, the right side to Eads. Back to St. Clair. They come around the long with it to the whip. Goes to the baseline. Goes under the ball. Knocked out of bounds by Kenny Ford. As the whip will inbound it for the Tigers. As the whip flips it out to St. Clair. They go to Miller in the lane. Hooking out of the lane. Got it. Miller. 29 25. Tigers within four. As Towns will work it to the front court for Williamson. To Mark Klein on the right side. Back to Towns, back to Klein. As Towns with the ball firing beside the key. Good. 23 feet. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's, there's 50 some tickets going to Buzzer County. You can't do that because they think we're going to stop the clock. How come he stops back on the Buzzer County? But now, this is the second time that the timekeeper has blown that horn, and maybe the clock's not going to run. Well, they got 50, what's the time? 50-something seconds? 57, the 57, 57 seconds. seconds. And the ball went through the bucket, so it's not stopped. You can't get it up to the end of the game. So I don't know what's going on. I don't think anybody else knows a whole lot about what's going We've on. We've had the timekeeper into this ball game just entirely too much. But perhaps there's a mechanical problem we don't know about. Well... Somebody says it's a middle column, we probably can get the ball. <laughs> when you play on the road, you take pot luck. And when we play on the road, sometimes that pot luck don't have a lot of grip on it. <laughs> now they're talking to Ralph Ball. They're putting time back on the clock. Hey, a minute, a minute fifty-seven or something. A minute fifty-seven. They're saying maybe they lost a minute off the clock. So how do you do that? I am well. Well, when they had a timeout, they was about 2.29, so it's probably right. So now they're missing out the score. Now they got it back 31.25. Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah. That was 29 points. No, yeah, he made that then. Six-point lead for the Wolfpack. we got a minute 57 to play. So we'll see. Okay, the Tigers ready to go. Now we got the Wit, St. Clair, East, Phillips, and Miller on the floor. Williamson out there with Town, Hatcher, Swartz, Fletcher, and Klein. As the Wit inbound the two, Mike Eads. Mike will give it back to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff the top of the key with it. To the right side, Eads on the wing position. Mike gives it back to Jeff, top of the key, takes the shot, gives it to the Wit. He'll fire from 20 feet on the good on the left side. James DeWitt gets the Tigers within four, 31-27. With a minute 35 to play in the first half. As Towns with the ball in the front court. To the left side, the Hatcher. Down low with it to Fletcher Fine. Gets off the iron. No good. Rebound. Picked up by David Phillips. Phillips gets it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff into the front court with it to Jim Miller. Jim comes down the left side. Dribbling. Gives it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff will start the offense now. As he'll fire from 20 feet, it's good. Just St. Clair gets the Tigers within two at 31 to 29. We got a minute and five seconds to play in the first half. As Hatcher into the front court with it for Williams from top of the key. Gives it to Mark Klein. Goes around St. Clair. They go down low with it to Swartz. Fake fires and it's good. Jimmy Port puts the wolf back up by four with 55 seconds to play in the first half. James DeWitt with the ball on the right side for the Tigers. To James, to Jeff Sinclair. Jeff comes around the horn with it to Mike Eads. Mike goes to the baseline, a fadeaway. Off the iron, no good. Rebound. Caught for a pull down by Klein of Williamson and Phillips. Steals the upcourt pass. David holds it up, looks for help. Gets it from Jeff Sinclair. As Jeff, dribbling with it at the top of the key. Starts to sort of the lane. They give it outside to Mike Eads. We got 20. Five seconds on the clock as the Tigers spread it out. Look for a work for the last shot, maybe. As Jeff St. Clair is standing way outside, handling it, starts it down toward the lane. Back the way out again. To Mike Eads. Eads to St. Clair. Five seconds. Nine seconds on the clock as he'll start the offense. Eads to St. Clair, top of the key. Four to the win. Goes for the lane, fires from 17. Good. James DeWitt hits it at the buzzer. Took into the first half of play. 
the Williams and Wolfpack, 33, and the Princeton Tigers, 31. And we'll be back for football for this. Down four, the Williamson Wolfpack, 33, the Preston Tigers, 31. As in the first quarter, the Tigers got 17 points, Williamson 16. But in the second quarter, Williamson got 17, while the Tigers only got 14. We'll be back with all the halftime stats for the first football for this. All right, what do we got on those stats? Okay, Glenn, first for the, for the Williamson Wolfpack... Bobby Fletcher had five field goals, 0 for 1 at the foul line, 10 points. And Fletcher must really get hot when he plays Preston because he is not the, the leading scorer on the Williamson team. Kenny Schwartz has had, is having, I think, a better ball game rebounding than he had at Princeton. Two field goals, 1 of 2 at the foul line, 5 points. Curtis Towns has four field goals for 8 points. Julius Hatcher, two field goals for 4 points. Mark Klein, three field goals, all three of them in the first quarter, six points, giving them a total of 16 field goals, one of three at the foul line, 33 points at halftime. Now wise for them, Bobby Fletcher has two, Coda Towns has two, and uh, Schwartz does not have any, and Hatcher does not have any. For Princeton, each two field goals, three for three from the foul line, seven points. Jeff St. Clair, three field goals, most of them, well, all of them from long range, six points. James DeWitt, again from downtown, six field goals for 12 points. The ball game's leading score at this point. Stephon Strain was 0 for 1 at the foul line, no points. Jimmy Miller had three field goals, 0 for 2 from the foul line, six points. Giving Princeton 14 field goals, three of six at the foul line, and it was a dandy of a first half. All right, Charlie. Then first half total shows Princeton made 14 of 31, 45 percent. First half stats show that Princeton made 14 of 31 for 45 percent. Williamson made 16 of 32 for 50 percent. Williamson now rebounded Princeton 21 13, and uh, turnover wise, Williamson had eight, and Princeton had two. Whoa, whoa, that number of rebounds, good thing we got close on turnovers, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Uh, uh, Princeton now rebounded uh, Winston in the second quarter, but that big four, first quarter, 14 to 5, and Winston's favor really hurt. That's right. We'll be back first. Let's call for this. Hey, Princeton fans. My name is Jim Mann. I'm center for the Princeton Tigers this year. I'm a senior, and I just want to say thanks for all the support that you have given us for these three years. Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Jeff Adams, a senior backup center for the Princeton Tigers. I really appreciate all of your support, and I hope we can bring back the state championship trophy. Good evening, folks. My name is Jeff St. Clair. I'm 5 years senior. My number is 12, and I play point guard for this year's Tiger Squad. I'm really looking forward to this year's tournament action, and I hope to see a lot of fans support this year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mike E. I'm a senior. I play guard on this year's... He's on the point guard position to the left side to Hatcher. Hatcher in the corner with the Fletcher. Back out to Hatcher. They go to Klein on the point again. Klein works it toward the right side to Town. But they've got Swartz on the high post. Firing from 15. Good. He got Klein back out and glass. But dropped it. 35-31. Tigers down four. As Eves gets it to the front court for the Tigers. He's on the right side. To St. Clair on the point as Jeff's on the left-hand dribble. Gives it to James DeWitt on the left side. James gives it back outside to Jeff. They come around to He's on the near side. Goes to the baseline. They double-team him. Flips it all the way back off court to DeWitt. Firing from the key. Good. James DeWitt took the pass. Who, who moves to the side of the key and hit it in. 35-33. As Williamson will bring it to the front court. Towns with the ball. They go to Klein. Klein drives the lane. Runs over Miller. No call. He puts it up and in. Obvious charge. No call. 37-33. As Jeff St. Clair in the backcourt. Gets it to... Mikey's in the front court. 
Gives it back to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff to Eads. Puts it down the right side, quarter court. Back around the top of the key to St. Clair. They go to DeWitt in the corner on the left side. Firing it off the iron. No good. Miller fighting. It's Phillips fighting for the rebound. Can't get it. Taken down by Klein to Williamson. Into the front court. Down the left side. Across the top of the key. To Fletcher. Firing from outside. Good. Bobby Fletcher from 16 feet. Puts Williamson up by 6. 39 to 33. As Mike East backs his way into the front court. Gives the ball to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff. To the wood on the right side. Back to St. Clair, top of the key. The E's on the right, left side, firing off the E. Baseline, no good. Rebound, pulled down in traffic by Hatcher. Hatcher into the front court to Towns. Back to Hatcher, lays it up in the air. Oh, boy, beauty of a fast break. Hey, get out, really put it out. 41 to 33. Tigers trail by eight now. As the wit gets in the front court to Phillips. Phillips on the right side. Gives it back outside to E. Mike holds the ball overhead, directing traffic underneath. Gives it back outside to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff at the top of the key with it to the wit. The wit on the left side. Goes through the baseline. Drops it to Miller and low. Goes and puts it up so good. He is fouled. And that foul will be called on Kenny Ford. That's number one on Ford. Team foul number one on the Wolf Pack. 41 to 33, the Tigers trailing now by eight. As Brisbane was only one bucket here in the second half, uh, Williamson put eight points on the board. Miller fires a free throw, no good. A short off the front of the rim. Good off the front iron. He'll have a second one. As Miller fires again, it's good. 41-34. Tigers fail by seven. As they'll set the press up. As Towns goes in the front court to Klein. Goes down to the lane. Gives it to Fletcher. Fires. No good. Goal sending on Miller. As Miller strikes it off the glass. Forty-three thirty-four. Tigers trailing by nine points. As Jeff St. Clair gets it to Mike Eads. Eads into the front court with it on the right side. Works it toward the lane. Holds it up. Miller double team. Trying to get it to Phillips underneath. Throws it out of bounds. But Phillips didn't break. And the Tigers want a timeout. The West explore. Williamson 43. Princeton 34. We'll be back right after this. As we're back at the Williamson Fieldhouse, and we're talking about the Tigers, we're hoping it's... The Tigers can hold their poise and get it back together as they've dropped nine points off the pace and the Wolfpack have the ball right now. We've got five minutes, 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. And Williamson trying to open up breathing room on the Tigers. And Williamson will have the ball out of bounds in their backcourt. That little boy on that buzzer was pretty happy with it, didn't he? He sure liked it. He's been doing that as long as I can remember seeing Princeton and Williamson play. I'll bet he's got one of those at home he played with, too. <laughs> Williamson comes to the attack now. As Julius Hatcher into the front court with it, right across the center circle. Tigers going man-to-man on the defense. As Towns with the ball on the far side, drops it underneath his foot, just knocks out of bounds. As Phillips may have knocked it loose, and they give it to the Tigers, and... Fletcher really arguing about it. The Tigers will control. Jeff St. Clair gets it to Mike Eads. Mike into the front court with it. Looking underneath. Gives it back outside to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff on the point position. Williamson into a 2-3 zone. With a double team on the underneath. As the wit fires the side of the lane. It's in and out. No good. Rebound to Pine as they really bust Miller off. Three of them shoving him outside. Pine into the front court. Goes underneath with it to town. Five. Good. Put it town. Puts the Tigers down 11 points. As Miller with the ball into the front court for the Tigers. Gets it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff on the point position. Looking underneath. Jack brings it to the right side to James DeWitt. They go to Reeds in the lane. It's knocked loose. Picked up by DeWitt. As the Tigers almost lost it. St. Clair with the ball. Moves it toward the right side to Reeds. He's on the wing. Corner court. Front court. Right side. Throws it toward the baseline. Go to DeWitt on the high post. Gives it back to Eads in the corner. Back to DeWitt. He backs out toward the wing. Goes toward the baseline. Fires off the iron. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Schwartz off Williamson. Throws it out of bounds. Trying to get the wrong man with it. I believe it's down for the hustle. He could have got that. As Jeff St. Clair will bring it to the front court for the Tigers. To the top of the key with it. 
to the wet on the left side. Back to St. Clair. They go to Miller in the lane. Miller, double team, goes down the lane, puts it up and in. Miller gets the Tigers within nine, 45 to 36 with 355 to play in the third quarter. As Hatcher brings it to the front court, to Klein on the left side, drives into Miller. Oh, my goodness. Miller had established position. Klein ran into him. Knocked him down, bounced the ball off of him out of bounds, and they give the ball out to Williams. They have not been, well, we've complained about offensive calls. We're not getting any of those here tonight. So far. As Klein with the ball on the inbound pass, out of the key. Leaves it for Hatcher. Hatcher will go back around the top of the key. Still looking underneath, goes down the lane with a drive, drops it off the left side to Schwartz, firing off the glass, so good, rebound to Phillips for the Tigers. Phillips leaves it for St. Clair. Jeff into the front court with it. Circles his way out of trouble, goes back to the top of the key. To the right side, the game's the whip. The whip gives it back to St. Clair. Looks at the bucket, gives it to Phillips on the left side, fires out of the corner, off the iron, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Klein or Williamson. Leaves it out to Town. Towns into the front court, gives it to Hatcher, charges, bucket good. That's number two on uh, Hatcher, but the bucket was good. Team found number two on the Wolfpack. 47-36, Tigers trailing now by 11 points with 3.05 to play in the third quarter. James DeWitt will move it to the front court. Gives it to Jeff St. Clair, to Mike Eads. He's on the high post. The Phillips on the baseline, tying off the baseline short. Phillips remounts, puts it up and in. David Phillips. 47-38, nine-point advantage for the Wolfpack. As Mark Klein with the ball, drives to the lane, jump shot out of the lane, good. 49-38, Tigers fail by 11. As Jeff St. Clair dribbling in the backcourt, they double-team him. He gives it to Mike Keith in the front court. Mike goes to the lane, goes down the lane, off to the right side as they double-team him, holds the ball up, gives it to James DeWitt. DeWitt to Jeff St. Clair, top of the key with it. To Eads on the left side, takes the shot, goes through the lane, and we've got a whistle and a foul. I believe that's going to be on Bobby Fletcher, let's see. It is on Bobby Fletcher. That's number three on Fletcher. Team foul number three on the Wolfpack. And it'll be out of bounds to the Tigers on the far side. Aziz gets it into Jeff St. Clair. Jeff, top the key. Gives it to the wet on the near side. Back to St. Clair. Firing from 20 feet. It's off of the plane. So good. Rebound. Comes out to Hatcher. We got a whistle. What'd they call? I think they got a on Jim Miller. That's number two on Jim. Team foul number one on the Tigers. 49-38. With 2.05 to play in the third quarter. The Tigers trail by 11. There's Hatcher with the ball. Top of the key. Gives it to Towns. On the wing. Gives it to Klein. Klein goes to the oh. Keeps the ball. Oh. The wind comes up with it. He's just got it. As they go to the front court in traffic, he's back his way down the lane. Gets it to St. Clair. He's just down. He's injured, I think. As he's up in the back court holding his nose, and Williamson comes off fine with the ball to Hatcher. We got a charge on Klein. And these coming to the bench looking for help. And somebody really dropped the hammer on him down there that basket. It's uh, Kay Schwartz, second foul, team foul number four on Williams. And uh, he's still, he's going back on the floor, but he's mopping that right eye. As the Wolfpack will press, the way will end up in the back court, we're going to play it on the near side. As the way with the ball, gets it into Mike Eads. He's in the back court with it. Starts the dribble. Back to the way to the front court. Gives it to the wit. The wit into the front court with it. Brings it to the near side. The ball knocked loose. Picked up by the wit. Gives it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff, top the key. To the left side, the Eads. Eads over overhead at the wing. They go to the middle on the high post. He's triple team. Gets it back to St. Clair. They come around to Phillips. Ball is shot. Blocked by Klein. That's the foul on Klein. Number two on Klein. Is that all? Even with that charge on Miller? No, that, that charge is against Kenny Schwartz. The, the charge right here was against Cody and Kenny Schwartz. Okay. It should have been Klein. He's the guy that hit him. They gave the foul to Schwartz. Well, that set foul goes to Klein. That's number two on Klein. Team foul number five on the Wolfpack. And that'll put Phillips on the free throw line for the Tigers. 
Well, you may be right. They may have gotten um, no, four tries. That's good. I believe you are right, and I believe they did get climbed with the foul before the slam. As two of fires again, it's good. Now, this going three on climb up top of 49 to 40, Packers down 10, as Hatcher with the ball, gets it to Klein, they go to Fletcher on the baseline, go to Fort in the lane, bust over Noah, should have an offensive foul, we got a defensive foul. That's number three on Jim, team foul number two on the Tigers, team foul number three on the Tigers. Okay, team foul number two on the Tigers. Bob corrects me. Our timekeeper can't count. <laughs> hey, we know that. <laughs> As Forrest fires the first go no good. He put up a brick. Got off the front iron. Forrest will fire again. It's good. 40, it's 50 to 40. The Tigers... Off the pace by 10 with a minute five to play in the first in the third quarter. Jeff Sinclair with the ball on the backcourt for the Tigers. They go to Miller in the tie in the front court. Holds oh, up. <laughs> Patrick Hay right outside the head. And the officials had no harm. Sinclair with the ball. Gives it to the wit on the wing. They go to Eads on the post. High post firing off the post. It's on the iron. Good. Mike Eads from 14 feet. 50 to 42. An eight point ball game. Tigers trailing. As we got 39 seconds to play in the third quarter. As Curtis Towns with the ball into the front court for Williamson. Dribbling out front. Leaves it for Mark Klein. As they go across court with it to Hatcher. Hatcher on the dribble. Gives it to Towns. Towns sending way outside. Still dribbling. Now he gives it to Mark Klein. Klein. Back to the way towards the lane. Gives it outside to Hatcher. As Hatcher works his way across court. Still dribbling back on the far side. We do have five seconds on somewhere along the line. Never did get it. As Towns with the ball now, starts it down the lane, runs over Phillips, no ball, bucket's good. 52 to 42, as Phillips firing from midcourt. That's all I got, 11 points in that quarter. Well, Williamson got 19. We're back on. Okay, for the third quarter, Princeton hit four field goals. Three, two, what a, three or four at the foul line, giving them 18 field goals, six tenths at the foul line. Williamson hit nine field goals. They hit one of, well, one of two from the foul line, giving them two or five from the foul line. The big difference in field goals, seven field goal lead by Williamson, Charlie. In the third quarter, Williamson shot, uh, made nine of ten for 90%. Williamson, I mean, Princeton made four of 13 for 30%. Winston out rebounded Princeton seven to two, and Princeton committed one turnover compared to four of the wins. Our team shoot nine percent in the quarter. Nine, nine of ten. Nine of ten. Very, very good shooting. Start of the fourth quarter. The Tigers down by ten, fifty-two to forty-two. And you know they wouldn't let the Tigers cheer this cheer again in the sixth quarter. You know, I don't make a statement, and everybody will criticize me for it, but I don't really care. If the Tigers really can't find better places to play basketball than this with better sportsmanship, they should give it up and travel in the other direction. Well, we, yeah, we've had some unusual situations here tonight, there's no doubt about that. Miller in the jump against Bobby Fletcher. Tip controlled by the Tigers as Miller tips it to ease. Waits for traffic to clear, gives it to Jeff St. Clair. Jeff goes to the top of the key to the right side to James DeWitt. They go back to St. Clair to Miller on the wing, on the left side. Back to the way in, turn around, jump shot off the glass. Good. From 18 feet, Miller. Eight-point ball game, Tigers trailing. And Towns in the front court with it. Gives it to Fletcher. Fletcher comes through the lane, fire from 14 feet. Good. Bobby Fletcher. 54-44. Fletcher, fine ball player. As Sinclair gets into the front court to Mikey. Z goes down the lane, lays it on the glass, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Fletcher of Williamson. Throws it up. Sinclair intercepts, gets it back to Eads. Eads goes in. Oh, offensive foul, call on Eads. Number one on Eads, team foul number three on the Tigers. We've had some real uh, bumper car type activity underneath, and, and that was just a pretty good showmanship job. Oh, 
Hollywood, 54-44, Williamson on the attack. Hatcher with the ball, puts it down the lane. Back to down, goes back into the lane, goes down the lane, Miller Corky. Miller comes up with the ball, throws it out to Eads. Eads on the move, works on Towns, goes in and puts it up in the head. Eads, 54-46, to Tigers trail by eight. As Towns with the ball in the backcourt, gets in the front court to Fletcher. Fletcher starts it into the lane, Miller checking, gives it back outside. Down for Hatcher with the ball now. It's Hatcher. They call a timeout. Williamson wants a timeout. So with 6.45, let's play in the ball game. Williamson 54, Princeton 46. We'll be back right after this. That was a dinky call. We've got six minutes and 40, 44. Four seconds left to play in the ball game. Tigers starting by eight points. And I believe this game's going to get a little bit tighter, Glenn. Well, down it. He gets it down to Bobby Fletcher. Fletcher standing in the backcourt. Now he's dribbling. Goes to the front court with it. They double team him. He gets it over to Towns. All ball almost knocked loose, but Towns recovered. Towns gives it to Hatcher. Hatcher brings it around the horn to the near side to Schwartz. They go to Towns on the baseline. They go underneath with it to Klein. Goes all the way across the lane. Fires off the glass. Good. Mark Klein. 56-46. Ten-point ball game. As St. Clair working against the press. Gives it to E. Z's into the front court with the right side. On the dribble on the wing. Gives it to Jeff St. Clair. Top of the key. Goes into the lane. Drops it to Stephon. Goes under. Pump. Puts it up at the end. Stephon Strain. 56-48. With 6.05 to play. As Towns will bring it to the front court. Hatcher. Towns on the far side with the ball now. Brings it across the top of the key. They double team him. He gets it over to Klein. Taken away by James DeWitt. DeWitt into the front court with it. Works on Klein. Puts the shot up in the end. James DeWitt. 56-50. Six point ball game. With 5.45 to play. As in the backcourt with the ball is Hatcher. Into the front court with it. Goes for the top of the key. It's St. Clair. Dogs him. Circles up, trying to look for room, gets it to Curtis Towns. Now comes from the near side, the Tiger guard switch. Now as he picks up Towns, he goes down, fires with the left hand, got it on an alley oop circus shot. 58 to 50, the Tigers trail by eight. As he's into the front court with it for the Tigers. Mike dribbling on the left side, the St. Clair top of the key. To the win, on the wing, left side. Looking underneath, gives it back to St. Clair. They go Miller low post. Flips it into the lane, knock loose. Picked up by Towns. As Towns trying to get it to Fletcher. It's deflected. Fletcher fires, no good. Rebound pulled off by the Witt. Knock loose. It pulls on the floor. The Witt picks it up. The Witt into the front court with it. Has the ball deflected. Picked up by Williamson. As Klein controls on the baseline. Still dribbling with it. Knock loose. Picked up by Miller. Miller works on Klein. Goes down, fires. It's good. He's fouled by Klein. And a foul on Mark Klein, and it'll be number three, number four on Mark Klein. And Miller will go to the line as you want. Team foul number five on the Wolfpack, so the Tigers will be eliminated. Time three team fouls against Princeton, and Princeton in the one and one. As the Tigers will be one and one, and Bob tells me that the Tigers have only committed three team fouls in the second half. 58-52 with 4.45 to play in the ball game. Miller on the line right now to shoot one shot for the Tigers. He's ready. He'll fire with the right hand. He puts it up. It's good. 58-54. Tigers. 58-53. Tigers fell by five. As Towns and Hatcher working to the front court, we got a whistle on the foul on St. Clair as he fouled Hatcher. That's number one on St. Clair. Team foul number four on the Tigers. It'll be out of bounds to the Wolfpack. Of course, from now on, they'll get bonus on the fouls. The inbound pass comes into Mark Klein. Mark gives it back outside to Hatcher. Hatcher dribbling, top of the key. The left side to Schwartz. The shot loose, picked up by Fletcher. Fletcher, work gives it back inside to Schwartz. He puts it up and in. He is fouled. And Schwartz gets the bucket for Williamson. Foul fall on Jeff St. Clair, and that's number two on Jeff. Team foul number five on the Tigers. 60 to 53, a seven point ball game, and Kenny Schwartz can make it. An eight-point ball game. He's got one free throw. A real good job in, in five for the way it looks like on that play. As Fort fires, it's good. 
63, an eight-point ball game. As Mike East takes the up-court pass, moves it to the front court. They double team him. He gets it to Jeff St. Clair. To James Wood on the right side. Drops it to Steph on low post. Fakes, fires. It's off the iron. Tipped up and in by Miller. 61-55, a six-point ball game. As Williamson with the ball. Hatcher brings it to the front court. To the left side with it to Mark Pine. Pine gives it outside the to town. Towns over the overhead. They go down low with it to Pine. The wit knocks it away and out of bounds. But they give it to Williamson. We may get a makeup call on that one. Please. I think Pine said he kicked it there, but it doesn't make any difference. Williamson wants a timeout. So at 355, look to play in the ball game. It is Williamson 61, Princeton 55. We'll be back right after this. The Tigers running by six and trying to get back into the uh, action. They'd like to get a couple of turnovers. Williamson, a well-prepared ball club. And yeah, regardless of what we think about the fans and the fights and what like that, this Williamson basketball team is a very, very fine high school basketball team. Well, it, it has to be the best team I've seen. It, I would say it's a better ball team for the first five than Dobbin Bennett. Now, Dobbin Bennett may have had a better bench than, uh, of course, they didn't get a plan against Princeton. But Dobbin Bennett had that size up and down with 12 men left. And uh, this is the best five men I've seen on a basketball team this year. With the possible exception to Princeton. Or LSU. Huh? Or LSU. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Are you referring to that Wildcat bait from last Sunday? <laughs> I'm not referring to anything. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. Hatcher will inbound it for Williamson on the baseline. Under their own bucket. Hatcher gets it into Mark Klein. Klein goes cross court with it to Towns. Towns with one hand. He gives it back to the near side to Swartz. Back to the way on on Miller. Fires on the turnaround in and out. No good. Rebound comes to the floor. Picked up by St. Clair. Jim leads it out to Miller over to Tosin. And Miller runs it down. Goes into the concession stand. Comes back with a bag of popcorn and a drink. <laughs> Got Miller back on the floor, going back to the defensive position. Thatcher brings it to the front court for the Wolfpack. 3.35 to play in the ball game. Tigers trail by six. As Thatcher holds it overhead outside, gives it to Town. Town circling outside. He's playing a defense on him. Takes it toward the right side. They drop it underneath. To Fletcher goes into the lane, gives it to Swartz, goes under, and he is hammered by Stephon. Number four on Stephon. Team foul number six on the Tigers. And now we'll put Kenny Schwartz on the free throw now. Kenny's uh, been a thorn in our side this second half. He's hit some free throws at total. As he's ready, he fires the first one. It's good. 62 55. He'll get another one. Sports fires again. It's good. 63-55, an eight-point ball game. Tigers trail as he's with the ball. Gets it to St. Clair. As we've got three minutes and 15 seconds to play, step on with the ball down low. Gives it back outside to Eads. Eads works it toward the lane. Goes across the lane. Puts it up on the iron. No good. Miller tips it up and in. 63-57, a six-point ball game. Tigers trailing with three minutes and five seconds to play. As now as Hatcher into the front court with it. Drops it down low to Swartz. He's out to the left side. Looking on the dribble now. Gives it back outside to Hatcher. Hatcher holds it overhead and looks underneath. Now he starts his move. Goes into the lane. Gives it across court with it to Swartz. He'll give it back to Hatcher. As Hatcher. Out front dribbling. Gets it to Curtis Town. Town moving with it with 235 to play in the ball game. Town goes down toward the baseline. Goes under, lays it up in the end. Towns goes all the way under, hooks it back over his head and gets it. 65, 57, 225 to play. Tigers trailing the Wolfpack. There's the wit with the ball for the Tigers in the front court. Holds it. Gives it outside to Jeff St. Clair. Gives it back to the wit. He'll fire from 18 feet. It's off the iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by Fletcher of Williamson. Lost it out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball. Good defense there for Stephon Strain playing with four personal fouls. 210 to play. 211. 211. 211 to play. And the Tigers, who called the timeout? Princeton called the timeout. So 211 to play. It is Williamson 65, Princeton 57. We'll be back 
Right after this. Three eleven to play. The Tigers trailing it by eight. They've got the ball. They better get it started pretty quick, fellas. They sure have. And, and the thing in this second half that impressed me, I don't know if Curtis Towns could ever put those rubber shots up again and make them. Now maybe he can. But he has been the real um, yeah, problem put, with French. He put up an uh, over-the-head uh, shot, and a minute ago he put up one of those uh, fall away left-handed as he falls out of bounds and goes in. He is not shy about going into the land of the giant. So far tonight, he's done very well scoring in there. He did eat one shot, uh, uh, pretty good, uh, back in the third quarter. All right, we're ready to play. The Packers out there with St. Clair, DeWitt, Miller, East, and Strain. As the inbound pass to St. Clair, top of the key, the right side to East, firing, and it's got to make a piece of Miller slammed up. Miller turned it off, put it up and down. 65-59, a six-point ball game. Tigers trailing by six. As Hatcher into the front court now. Gives it out to Town. Town's on the near side. We got a whistle and a foul on East. That's number two on East. And team foul does in a half or so, I don't know, it's eight or nine on the Tigers. So it'll be Curtis Towns on the free throw line for the Williamson Wolfpack. A minute 55 to play in the ball game, 65 59. The Tigers don't have any choice, they've got to go after them. As Towns, firing with the left hand, it's good, he'll get a second one. That's really why he makes those left hand shots, he is left handed. <laughs> I never know anybody's left handed do everything right, did you? Towns fires again, it's good. 67-59. Bob, are you left-headed? Yes, sir. He's with the ball in the backcourt. Gives it to St. Clair. They double-team him. As St. Clair works it to the front court, gives it to the wit. Goes to the baseline. Drops it to Miller. Miller goes under. Puts it up. No good. Miller puts it back up. Got it. 67-61. Six-point ball game. Williamson on top. It's Fletcher with the ball in the backcourt for Williamson. Gives it to Hatcher. Hatcher runs over top of St. Clair. St. Clair tried to tackle him. They call nothing. As they get it up to town, now they come under the force, goes under the board, they really drop the hammer on him. And the foul called on Miller, I believe. It is on Jim. Now he called that bucket good, it didn't even get up there, did it? Yeah, it was good. Did it? Okay. How many is that on Jim? Four? Minute 25 to play. 59-61, Tiger Trail. That's Ward fires the free throw. It's good. 70 to 61. He's with the ball in the backcourt with it. Moves it toward the front court. Still on the dribble with it. Top of the key gives it to St. Clair. They go to Miller on the high post. To the wit on the right side. They double team him. Gets it back outside. It's intercepted by Hatcher. Hatcher goes down. Turns around. Comes back out of trouble. He's fouled by the wit. We got a minute. Ten-point lead now for the Wolfpack. As they fire again, it is in and out, no good. Miller rebounds in traffic. Gets it out to St. Clair. Jeff into the front court on the move with it. To Ease. Ease goes to the baseline. Fakes the shot. Gives it back outside to St. Clair. Jeff gives it back to Ease. Works it around. Goes into the lane. Fadeaway shot is partially blocked. Pulled down by Fletcher. Leaves it outside to Towns. He is fouled by Ease. Well, Williams got the horses. Prince has got an extra ball team too. 
But uh, when you hit when you hit nine of ten in the third quarter, uh, that's awful hard to beat. And I said this to Chris, and I'll tell you, this is still the best ball team I've seen all year. The best starting five with the William Sport Pack, I think. And I think perhaps we've got a lot more play out of the guards tonight. They did a good job in Princeton, but it seems to me that Princeton on defense is having to play so close to Kenny Ford, Fletcher, and Klein that Towns and Hatcher are able to get underneath the basket and get the points in. Tigers out with DeWitt, Miller, Phillip, St. Clair, and E. As Towns hits his first free throw, the Phil Williams are up by 11. With 49 seconds to play, Towns hits again. 73 61. Tigers trail by 12. As he's into the front court with it. Gives it to St. Clair. Top of the key. Drops it to Phillips underneath. Firing off the baseline. Got it. Phillips gets the Tigers within 10 with 45 to play. Now we got 30 and 39 to play. And Williamson throws the ball away. And the Tigers will have it, about, have it out of bounds as Williamson brings in a bunch of new players. They figure they've got a 10 point lead now with 39 seconds to play. The Williamson Wolfpack 73, the Princeton Tigers 63. And Williamson brings in a complete new lineup. Let's see if we can get some of these numbers. They got Scott Maynard out there. They've got Walter Ford. John Phillips. They're going to leave Mark Klein in there. And they put Doug Ward in. To the wit, drops it to Miller. Miller fires, no good. Rebound comes out to Williamson. As with the ball is Phillips. Phillips gets it over to Ford. Ford dribbling the backcourt, goes to the front court with it to Maynard. Maynard picks up the shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Tigers. As we're down inside of 25 seconds, ball comes out. Williamson still got it. John Phillips goes down, gives it inside, and he is covered. He gave it to Doug Ward, and Miller really dropped the hammer on him, and that should be number. They're number four and number five on Jim. Four. That's number five on Jim. That's right. Remember, he, hit the, he put the hammer on this guy down here for number four a while ago. 73 63. Jim Miller is fouled out for the Tigers. What's the time left? 15 seconds. 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Doug Ward on the free throw line for the Williams and Wolfpack firing. His first one is no good. He'll get his second one. Jeff Adams into the ball game for the Tigers. As Ward fires again, it's off the flange. No good. Rebound pulled down by Phillips. Gets it out to Mike E. Seeds into the front court where they go through the lane. He'll fire from 14 feet. It's good. 73-65 with five seconds to play. We got a whistle on the other side of the foul on one of the Tigers. So it's on Mike E. And it is on Mike E. That's number four on Mike. And that will put Walter Ford on the free throw line for the Wolfpack. Five seconds to play. The Tigers trail by eight. Ford on the line to shoot a one and one for Williamson. Walter Ford. He fires. It's good. He'll get another one. 74-65. Tigers trail by nine. As Ford will get one more crack at it. He fires. It's no good. Rebound comes out to Eve. Eve takes it toward the midcourt. Throws it past the court to the wind. Fires. It's off the iron. No good. That's the ball game. Final score. The Williamson Wolfpack, 74. The Princeton Tigers, 65. We'll be back with wrap up. First, this ball for this. to the Williamson Wolfpack for the second time this year. Earlier this year, they lost to Williamson by three points, 66 to 63. And now they've been defeated by nine points here at Williamson in the last of the regular season game. The Wolfpack put together four quarters tonight. They got 16 points in the first quarter. While the Tigers got 17, Tigers leading 17-16. In the second quarter, Williamson got 17, Preston got 14, half-half score, Williamson 33, Preston 31. 
the third quarter, the down ball of the Tigers. Williamson with 19 points. Clemson was only 11. Into the third quarter, it was Williamson on top, 52 to 42. In the fourth quarter, Williamson with 22 points. The Tigers with 23 points. Final score, Williamson 74, Clemson 65. And that's the final score, the Williamson Wolfpack 74, the Clemson Tigers 65. As the Tiger record drops to 15 and 6 on the season. And we'll be in action with fictional tournament next Friday night at the Bush Fork Armory. We'll be back with all the stats for this falls for this. Final score, Williamson 74, Preston 65. Bob, what do you got on those sets? First for the Williamson Wolfpack, Bobby Fletcher, who had 20 points in Preston, had eight field goals tonight, over one from the foul line, 16 points. Kenny Schwartz had a better game tonight than he had at Preston, five field goals, six of eight from the foul line, 16 points. Curtis Town, who uh, had a much better game tonight than he did at Preston, eight field goals, four from four from the foul line, 20 points, and eight of his 20 points were in that fourth quarter. Julius Hatcher, four field goals, one of two at the foul line, nine points. Mark Klein, six field goals for 12 points. Klein did not play quite as well as he did at Princeton in some respects. Doug Ward got into the ball game, missed his only 10 free throw opportunities for no points. Walter Ford came in late, one of two at the foul line, one point. Giving Williamson 31 field goals, 12 of 21 from the foul line, 74 points. For Princeton, Mike Eads had five field goals, three of three at the foul line, 13 points on the night. Get St. Clair, three field goals, all in the first half of the ball game, six points. James DeWitt, eight field goals for 16 points. Stephon Slade, one field goal, 0 for 1 at the foul line, two points. Jimmy Miller, 10 field goals, all of the six of those coming in the fourth quarter. Two of five from the foul line, 22 points. He was the game's leading scorer. David Phillips came in, played a good ball game tonight. Two field goals, two for two at the foul line, six points. Giving Preston 29 field goals as compared to Williams' 31. Preston was 7 of 11 at the foul line as compared to Williams' 12 of 21 from the foul line. Once again, the foul score 74 65. Williams is winning it. Charlie? Game total shows that uh, Preston made 29 of 63. 46%. Wimpson made 31 of 51 for 60%. What did the Tigers shoot? They shot 46% of the game, 29 of 63. Wimpson shot 31 of 51 for 60%. Wimpson out rebounded Princeton 32 to 25. And Wimpson also committed 17 turnovers compared to 9 for Princeton. Uh, uh, interesting fact here. Wimpson shot 79% in the second half. Williams. What? They shot 79% in the second half. They were 9 of 10 in the third quarter. Yeah, 9 of 10 when they really blew it through. Sure. That's exactly the same thing that happened in Princeton. If you remember, Princeton trailed in that third and early fourth quarter by 10 and 11 points to Princeton, but they were able to come back. Okay, we'll be back with more wrap-up. First, let's pause for this. Final score of the ball game: the Williamson Wolfpack 74, the Preston Tigers 65. The Tigers dropping their record to 15 and 6 on the season. They close up the regular season. And all in all, it's been a good season for the Tigers. They have played the top-ranked teams in two states, and they have been representative in all those games. So now the Tigers get ready for tournament action. And on week from tonight, they'll be in action over to Grudge Fork Armory. They'll take on the winner. Uh, next Tuesday night, Bluefield Mountain View game as they play the first round of the sectional. The Tigers get the winner in the finals. And then, of course, we hope to progress on to the regional finals with the Tigers. Hoping to get it all together. And the Tigers played well here tonight. Uh, Williamson just played superior. Williamson uh, had a superior shooting night against the Tigers again. Well, 79%. Ain't bad in that second half. Yeah, game total for Preston shot 46%. That's not bad. Anytime you shoot 46%, you should win well, a ball game. Williamson but, beat us both from the field and at the free throw line. They outfield goal us for two, and they beat us at the free throw line. So we'll, they, they beat us. And it's just a matter that we'll get it together, and if we get another crack at them, it'll be a different choice. Maybe. Can't know maybe about it. <laughs> That's not well, I hope not. I hope to do anyway. does not have any weakness. The guards are good. They've got the big people inside. 
Well, a team that plays against them has got to have a good shooting night. And the Tigers are capable of shooting 60 to 70 percent, just as they are. And if Tigers can shoot that kind of percentage, they'll win. Problem may be getting the boards. Well, if you make that kind of shot, you don't have to worry about the boards. <laughs> That's true. Well, all but the first quarter, uh, Princeton kind of stayed in there with them in the rebound. In the second half, Princeton had 12 rebounds compared to 11 for uh, where, uh, Williamson. Uh, Williamson threw up some alley oop shots for one. Yeah, they did. They had no more right to go in, and I had to go in. But they actually caught a town. But any time you shoot Actually, 79% team-wise, uh, there's, not too, many, there's not too many rebounds left to get. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and, of course, a couple of times the Tigers got hurt on their defensive board because I remember Williamson putting it back up, keeping it alive for the third and fourth shot, maybe three times tonight. And, of course, that hurt. That's six points of the ball game. But the, uh, there's many other times that different things went the other way. The Tigers forced Williamson into numerous turnovers that Williamson should not have committed. Uh, they tried to go long on the Tigers all night. Evidently, they felt that they could. They were not really that successful with it. The Tigers did not really try to go long on the Wolfpack. They tried to come down and pound it down low so they could work it on inside. And when they could, they did. And uh, to give a quick recap on the Tigers scoring tonight, Miller had... Uh, 22. 22. Uh, James Wood had 16. Strain had 2. Sinclair had 6. And uh, Mike Eads, I believe, had 12. Okay. So the Tigers will be in action. Next Friday night at the Brooksville Carmery. And I think the tip off of that tournament game is 7.30. Usually is. And if you want to see, you better put your face in the place early. Let me, let me say, I missed uh, David Phillips had six points, and Mike Heath had 13 instead of 12. Okay. Final comment from anybody? Charlie, what do you got? Bob's already got his mic off. He's ready to get out of here. Well, I think uh, seeing a very fine ball game tonight, uh, Winston showed uh, again that they're a very fine ball team, but uh, Princeton, I think it hung in there very well. Well, the home court advantage, the crowd yeah. of the band gave Williamson a few points. Sure did. However, whatever it's worth, if we get another crack at him, Williamson better bring a lot of towels because they're going to need us to mop the floor in the tears. I, I sure hope so, Glenn. All right, I'm Glenn May. I'm speaking on behalf of Jolly. Jolly Wright. <laughs> speaking on behalf of Grappin' Bob Grant. <laughs> <laughs> and saying it, we appreciate the fact that you've allowed us to be a part of your evening. The fact of the matter is, we say thanks so much for listening. Good night, all.